there, my name is Amy Thistle and I'm a new Geography Master's student at Penn State and I'm here to tell you about my awesome cyclone project. So I grew up in the foothills of the San Bernardino Mountains in Southern California where I was surrounded with a scrubland ecosystem that has been experiencing relatively frequent fire for millions of years and whose plants have developed specific adaptations that allow them to resist fire's effects. On the other hand, the humid forests of the Amazon have historically experienced much less frequent fire, but recently the Amazon forests have been experiencing more and more fire as rapid forest clearing is needed for agricultural expansion. There have only been a few studies that look at how recent increased exposure to fire in these forests could possibly change the overall composition of species in the Amazon by choosing more fire adapted species, similar to the plants that are found where I grew up. One of these species, called Silver Bay, found in the southeastern Brazilian Amazon, has developed a few traits that point to its fire resistance and resilience, which is quite surprising given the low frequency of fires in these Amazon forests. Silver Bay has highly flammable leaves, which burn at really high heats, and it competes aggressively with neighboring species by quickly root sprouting over a large area after a fire has passed through, giving it the advantage to take over. With this Sci-Fun Challenge, I am looking to raise money to fund my very first trip to the Amazon. I'm hoping to attend the Association for Tropical Biology and Conservation's annual meeting in Bonito, Brazil this coming June, where I will gain exposure and insights into the bigger questions being asked by researchers in the field. While on this trip, I would also like to visit one of the largest experimental burns in the tropics, right at the edge of the Amazon basin which has been established by my advisor, Dr. Jennifer Balk, and an international team of researchers at the Amazon Institute for Environmental Research and the Woods Hole Research Center. Hopefully, I can also start a pilot project that would document which species are surviving high fire frequency and which are not, and to explore possible ways that some species are coping with increased fire exposure. So then the big questions here are, number one, how will tropical Amazon forests respond to such a new fire regime? And number two, which tree species will survive and which ones won't? By bringing a single species like Silver Bay to the forefront, I hope to illustrate these issues. So I hope you will join this project so together we can investigate how the Amazon will look as it becomes more exposed to fire. Thanks for watching.